Hey beauty queens! So, hi, I'm back in the next year, 2020. So yeah, so I haven't posted in like so long and <laughs> I feel like a little embarrassed. A little embarrassed, but like not really at the same time because I came back so like I have no shames in my game. But I'm back. <laughs> I'm back sis. I gotta spray my face because my face is dry. But um yeah, so it's a new year, so I felt like it was time for me to come back because I've been gone forever. So why not, right? But um yeah, so I wanted to come on here and I didn't wanna I had a couple video ideas, but I didn't want to come back on here and just like jump into it. Like, like I said, it is a new year, so I'm not going to act like, you know, this is a continuation of the 2019 Madison because it's not and I'm not sis. So I wanted to talk about some of the things, not even like, I don't know if accomplish is the right word, but I guess accomplish like things that I want to focus on and do and kind of the path and the vibrational energy that I want to be in for 2020. So I thought this was a good video to come back with and uh, obviously I would love for you guys to you know be in the comments and tell me what you think and maybe if you I don't know went through a similar situation or you have like some of the same goals as me but yeah my face is half done kind of like my eyes are done i feel like my eyes and my brows take me the longest honestly if i didn't do eyebrows and eyeshadow i would literally have my makeup done in like five minutes so half my makeup is done but i wanted to finish it on here and talk at the same time so that's what i'm gonna do um my my skin is like already prepped kind of the first thing i put on was the fresh beauty kombucha black tea that the essence guys i love that so much they told me i was gonna love it when i went to the fresh store but they were not kidding so it's like it's really really good so um i put that on first on my skin then i actually then i put on the bobby brown primer the bobby brown um face base the spf one i put on that then i sprayed this this is the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. I love that. It's really good. And then I just put on the Golden Glow from Bobbi Brown as well. And I put on so many things because my skin is really dry. Like, I've got really dry skin. So, it's, like, for me, it's normal to put on, like, three or four moisturizers. And it works for me. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, that's what I've done so far. But I'm going to do my makeup and continue talking about my 2019... 2019 no my 2020 goals so the first thing that i want to talk about is something that for the past few months that's kind of been like bothering me and making me feel a type of way which is my weight and that is because sis i gained a lot of weight in 2019 like a lot of weight um, so I, first of all, I want to start off with saying that I'm really short. I know you guys can't tell on camera and in pictures, and I've said it a couple times on my Instagram, but I'm very short and petite. So I'm 4'11". So I'm really, like, tiny. So when I gain weight, I could gain 5 pounds, and it looks like 10 for me because I'm really short. So I gained 10 pounds in, like, very quickly, in, like, 6 months, and I just felt like so big and, you know i'm not gonna lie it's been really hard for me because um like i said i'm short so it's like i felt like i had no control kind of and that was because of a lot of things i had i don't want to say i had a stressful summer but it was a very busy summer looking back i'm happy that everything happened the way it did because it was like an amazing experience or whatever but at the time I was like a little stressed and frazzled and for me I know this is not good but I eat my emotions so like if I'm feeling stressed out you know the average person will probably have like I don't know a cigarette or something 
Whereas me, I will have a cheeseburger because it just makes me feel better and just comforts me. And I've always been that way with food. And I've um, I've kind of always struggled with my weight, but I usually manage to keep it pretty under control and decent. But for the last six months of 2019, I was not able to manage. And like I said, I think that's because I had a very busy summer and I was very like stressed out and I was traveling a lot. So it was hard for me to be like on top of my weight. And then September came and I started school and I just had like the most, ugh, just the worst four months ever. I think it was because it was the last four months. So I was just, I was really like feeling it, but I was just so stressed out and all I could do was eat. And then I just got to a point where I felt like horrible and like I was feeling the weight, like not even just physically, but like mentally and emotionally, like it was so like heavy on me. Like I just felt heavy in all the types of ways, sis, like all the types of ways. And um, my following is like, I'm pretty sure it's like 99% women. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I really think it is 99% women. So as women, I know that we could all relate to this. And maybe it's not even weight gain. Maybe for you it's weight loss. But I feel like all of us women have like a little battle with our weight all the time. And yeah, that's why I decided to talk about this on here. Because for the last couple months for me, it's just been, it's been really like stressful. Because... I'm trying to like manage my weight, but I can't because I just had like a really, really stressful, but stressful in a good way because now looking back, like I said, I'm very thankful for those experiences, but I had, I was going through a lot of stress and that was just the way that I dealt with it. Just eating really, but now I'm suffering <laughs> the consequences of all that eating. So, um, basically what I'm trying to say is that in 2020, I want to be very conscious of my weight. I mean that in a healthy, positive way. I don't mean like I'm about to like go on like an eating disorder type of rampage type of thing. No, I don't mean that. I mean just like making sure that I'm not eating like excessively just because I'm bored and making sure that i'm in the gym you know um on a weekly basis when i used to go to the gym i would get like obsessive with the gym like i didn't want to miss a day of the gym but honestly i've been back in the gym for like almost a month now and i feel like we're kind of getting to like a healthy relationship like with me in the gym like i just am aware that i have to be aware of what i'm eating i can't be like eating excessively and eating like just for laughs and fun so that's something in 2020 that i want to make sure that i stay on top of and i can have a healthy relationship with um is my weight so that's my number one thing and my number one kind of goal i guess i don't know if that would be a goal because i want it to be more of like a lifestyle thing you know what i mean i don't want to like in 2021 like gain on my way back so you get what i mean all right so now i'm actually gonna go on to concealer and i'm going to use the new um urban decay stay naked correcting concealer and guys i love this concealer wait my my camera will focus but this is what it looks like uh and this is the shade 50 wy so that's the shade that i'm wearing but i really love this concealer like it's really good i definitely recommend a couple days ago I had this concealer on actually and I was like crying hysterically don't even ask me why but I was and then after I had that whole little like laugh attack I was like oh my god I forgot I had makeup on like my makeup is gonna be destroyed so I was like damn I'm gonna go need to fix it so I went in the room to like go fix it sis this concealer was completely intact it did not even budge it didn't streak it didn't go anywhere i was like wow like i was super impressed with this concealer so yeah so if you're looking for a good concealer and for any reason if you think you might cry your ass off this is a really good concealer to go out and buy and invest in because 
this is not even going to budge like it did not streak it did not move it did not crease it was completely intact so urban decay you killed it you definitely killed it this concealer a vibe okay my next little thing that i want to focus on in 2020 so the next thing is to be a little bit less shy so what i mean by this i know this might be like a little weird like what are you talking about be a little less shy but what for me what i mean about this is to be a little less like basically i want to be too too modest and i know that sounds like okay like what are you saying right now i know it sounds funny but i feel like basically i feel like i don't give myself credit for anything and it's like well if i don't give myself credit for anything then i'm not really like giving myself any motivation and i'm basically like not cheering myself on so if i don't cheer myself on how do i expect everybody else to cheer me on i'm not even gonna like sugarcoat this but i feel like i know this is not true but i feel like i have no like support sometimes and i feel like i need that like i need that push and like there's nobody to like be like hey you know um it might be taking a little bit longer than you expected but you're still doing it and you're still killing it like i don't even tell myself those things so if i'm not speaking to myself that way then why am i expecting everybody else to do it for me like it kind of doesn't make any sense so that's what i mean about like being a little less shy i mean like even toward like myself like i want to start giving myself the credit that i deserve because i feel like i need that like push and i need that support and i need you know somebody to be cheering me on but if i don't believe in what i'm doing myself then why is then how am i even expecting other people to come out and feel that way for me like i said it just doesn't make any sense so in 2020 i am going to be my number one supporter and i really i know this is gonna be hard for me <laughs> but i'm like dead serious about this like this is something that i really want to work on and that i really want to focus on and i'm gonna remind myself to do it because i already know for myself this that's gonna be hard all right so for my next little thing that i want to work on is using my contacts for inspiration so by contacts i kind of mean like you know my friend i really mean my friends um and just like you know not being afraid to like reach out if i have any questions or if there's something that i feel like i want to ask you know things like that kind of just surround myself with the people that i admire because i just feel like i have a lot of really talented little gems like all around me and i don't like take the time to um you know have a lunch with them or have an afternoon with them and i just feel like that is so important like as i am you know navigating this whole beauty industry as a makeup artist and even as a beauty influencer i'm really lucky to know even know these people and have access to them and you know have that and and be able to draw inspiration from them in you know real life like not even online like i have access to them in real life and i think that's just me being like again a little bit shy and not wanting to like overwhelm people or like be in the way or like take an hour out of their schedule so in 2020 i am not doing that anymore because i feel like i have just as much to offer them as they have to offer me so i'm gonna keep that in mind and i want to make that a thing for me in 2020 if i have a question for somebody or i feel like i want to just 
get next to them for any reason i'm gonna reach out and do that because i feel like i should and i feel like this is gonna be a year that i'm going to need that inspiration and that life advice and the business advice and all of the things so that's why that is something that i want to make a theme in my 2020 because i feel like it's just time for me to break out of my shell and again not be so not be so modest and shy and you know just pull up on them you know and be the boss girl that i am so that is something else i want to focus on okay so the next thing that i want to accomplish or do or make a theme of in my 2020 year is to become a part of a community of women now i don't even know what this really is yet for me but i want to start doing research and join something i don't know what it is yet um i want to do a little bit of research this could be i don't even know this could be even like community service this could be like i said i don't really know but something in my gut has been telling me that i need to surround myself with really powerful women and for the last like six months this has really just been like calling me and calling me and calling me and i'm like all right i'm gonna do it when i have time and now i finish school so i have a lot of time on my hands now and i feel like this is my opportunity to get in there and you know find a community of women where i feel like um i can be a part of or is a reflection of me or women that i admire want to be like um who i aspire to be so that's what i mean but i will keep you guys updated on exactly what that is when the time comes because honestly right now i'm i'm still doing the research of what that is um but yeah that's that's something that i really want to do in 2020 and even i don't know if this is the same thing but i really want to give back in 2020 and i don't even have shit for myself but for some reason again this is just something in my gut that i'm like i need to do this but i think i want to give back to like younger girls and um i want to do that because i feel like you know in this generation and this instagram ever like young girls are being kind of persuaded in the wrong way of of the options of how to be a boss girl i'm not gonna say a boss b because i don't know i wanna obviously i'm, I'm speaking about young girls right now so i don't want to use that language but i feel like like even I don't want to tell you where I was, but I was somewhere that was an urban place like where I live. I don't really like to say where I live because I just feel like that's weird and dangerous. But I do live in a very urban area and I heard these very young girls like high school age talking about um, some rapper's girlfriend. And I was overhearing the conversation and basically hold on let me turn this off because my phone is like ringing so i basically overheard them like gushing over this girl and i'm sure that this rapper's girlfriend i'm not gonna say what it is is an amazing i know that she's an amazing beautiful young woman but what she's portraying online may not lead young girls in the right direction you know what i mean because we need to be so careful with the younger generation because we do and show things that we don't even know is going to affect them in way bigger ways that we don't even that we don't even think about and that we don't even imagine so i want to empower young girls in 2020 in some type of way and i don't know what that even is yet but i'm thinking about a way and i'm gonna do it because i feel like no shade no tea but i feel like we could use a couple more pretty good standard role models 
aka it could possibly be me and I'm not saying that I'm perfect I'm a perfect little angel because I'm not but I think that just like a regular like young woman because I am very young still as well myself but kind of like almost working as like a mentor kind of girl type of thing so i really want to do that in 2020 my gut and um i don't know that's just that's what spirit is telling me also my next thing that i work want to work on um in 2020 is just being more aware of myself you guys know my friend Imani. I mean, you might know my friend Imani, um, the hood healer. And I actually had a lot of you guys follow me from her page. So, hey, girl. You know, it's funny because I feel like she came into my life. And I've always been, since I'm a child, just by myself. Nobody even, like, forced any, like, you know, religion or anything on me. But I've just been naturally a very spiritual person but she came into my life and she kind of like opened that portal for me and um yeah like she just made me feel like i really just never talked about it on the internet to be honest with you like with my close friends and family you know when we're alone and stuff like we'll talk about it obviously but yeah so i want to be more self-aware and just more in touch with my spirituality because i've always been a very connected and spiritual person but ever since she's come along she's really made me realize that this is something that i shouldn't ignore and that i should explore so yeah that rhymes and <laughs> i love i didn't even mean to do that i wasn't being corny i was like those are just the words that came out of my mouth but yeah, I think that was the last thing that I wanted to really focus on in my 2020 year. So yeah, guys, um, those are my 2020 goals and the things that I hope to accomplish. So if you guys feel like you have some like similar things that you want to accomplish or you feel like you're kind of like in the same boat as me definitely leave me a comment so we can have a little chat or um dm me on instagram if you follow me on instagram which you probably do if you don't please follow me there because i'm always on there so um yeah guys my makeup is obviously complete now and yeah i'm glad i got to like put this out there so that way come next year in 2021 oh my god this sounds so crazy i can't even believe we're in 2020 this is crazy but anyway but yeah so next time around when the next new year comes i could come back and watch this video and be like did i really do those things did i do them i feel like this is a way for me to like hold myself accountable of the things that i want to accomplish so if you guys feel like you have similar accomplishments as me or things you want to accomplish as me let me know leave it down in the comments and yeah i will see you guys soon in my next video so bye guys thanks for watching love you